I'm Tamiya Presley. Thank you for joining me today. I'd like to tell you a little story, a little personal story about powering through a workout and what happened after I did that. day I had a long day I um, was busy all day and decided that at the end of the day I really really needed to get in a quick Pilates routine now my Pilates routines are um, usually performed in the style how I also teach you how I teach my clients which is focusing on activating the deep support muscles focusing on smaller movements and then moving into bigger movements so that um, we get the support and we get the fluidity and we get the mobilization that's necessary to be able to move through larger movements that are more demanding with ease and also with good posture. I didn't have much time and it was very late and I decided to simply jump into Joseph Pilates's original mat sequence and I started at the beginning went through all the sequence kept the number of, of repetitions pretty low and um, I covered all exercises in 20-25 minutes and I was uh, thinking as I was doing the workout that I am proud of myself I'm doing my routine I am taking care of my body and I will feel the benefits and it will be so nice and I finished the workout. I didn't hurt myself, so that was good. But I also felt that I didn't feel the suppleness. I didn't feel that um, mobility, that um, feeling of just walking on clouds that you normally get from walking through a Pilates sequence that is appropriate for my body. I, my, I felt that my back was still stiff I felt that my range of motion was not at all bigger than at the beginning of the session and I thought that well this is exactly what happens when you power through a Pilates routine without paying attention to the small details of the movement and without also preparing the body step by step breaking down the exercises and uh, working doing putting in subtle work before doing the big work the funny thing, of course, is that I know this already, but it was interesting to experience it. I keep reminding people of it as I work with people, that it's very important to prepare the body, to um, focus on the breath, to focus on the deep support muscles of the core, to find mobility in the right place. But I didn't do all the right things in my routine, and guess what? The ex I didn't get the experience that I was looking for, and I feel like, yes, I move my muscles. Um, there is a benefit to just, just moving at all. But I certainly felt like I wasted my time in a sense. I would have probably been better off just doing a slower routine that really addresses my body the way we should address everybody, which is building up a routine from small movements to big movements. All right, so this was my little experience and I wanted to share it with you and encourage you that next time when you practice, make sure to incorporate the little warm-up moves, the preparational moves for each exercise, and then enjoy the results and benefits of Pilates. I hope that this little story was helpful. Stay well. I look forward to seeing you online in a private session or next time when a new video comes out.